What's up, everybody? This indigenous realist, the motherfucking realist, man. Some shots was fired, and I caught every last one of them. This ain't no clickbait, man. I'm going straight in, man. These niggas claiming to be Aboriginal. I'm going to go to war with you niggas. Any one of you niggas want to step up and see me, I got that smoke for your ass. And I don't care which one of you niggas. I end your career, nigga. So, bro, I don't make money from this, bro. This ain't no career. This the motherfucking culture, fam. Ain't no ending to this, man, because it wasn't never no beginning, fam. And any one of you niggas, hear my message. Bro. Call my name, nigga, if you feel like it. Call my name. and I'm to keep this shit as respectful as possible, man, but y'all tell that nigga I called his name. Tell him indigenous realists the realists call his name, man, and I need answers, man. Every motherfucking day, I'm pounding you. I'm pounding the niggas around you, nigga. I don't give a fuck who it is. Ain't no niggas around me, fam. I'm by myself, so I shouldn't be that hard to, you know, get out the way, right? I love Africa and I'm African people. And I took my oath to defend my people. Fam, I love Turtle Island, man. And shit, this the culture, man. And I ain't take no oath. I ain't under oath and obligation. That's why I can come on here and expose this foolishness, fam. Fucking ridiculous. So just as ridiculous as the white man saying he come from Africa, it's just as ridiculous as a man damn near dark is triple black midnight talking about he's indigenous to this continent when you know this goddamn continent is damn near like Russia. I find it ridiculous that a pan-African nigga can cl lay claim to every other land besides Africa and claim the culture, claim the technology, claim the, the knowledge of that culture. But at the same time, y'all feel like Nobody can't originate over here in America and like nobody couldn't have originated anywhere else around the world And that shit is ridiculous. That shit is stupid as fuck. That ain't where I want to go. Here, I, here we go. Let me start it up Okay, now you looking at the last ice age That was on the planet now. I don't know if that was like 10,000 years ago or whatever You understand? I should have got that but it don't I don't need it See, and this is where the fucking trickery come in. He talking about it don't matter. Yeah, it matter, bro. You see, the Ice Age happened 21,400 years ago, fam. And it go all the way down to 7,800 years ago. And that's when, between there, around 11,500 11, is when the so-called Red Indian migrated here over to Bering Strait. Then you can tell he, can, he didn't really even study into this because his, he, he would have seen, man, that it didn't even cover that much of uh, mainland North America, which they call the U.S. right now. And plus, everybody know we were down south anyway. Because it's still goddamn cold in the same goddamn areas. Okay? It's still cold in the same goddamn areas. You looking primarily damn near the whole north of the United Snakes of America was up under ice. Okay? We talking about Michigan, Minnesota, uh, all that shit up there, even Ohio. You understand what I'm saying? New York, Massachusetts, New England. You understand? Even down damn near to Washington D.C. was under the ice. Okay, so we talking about that this region up here is not an area. You know, when you talking about indigenous, you and then you you steady talking about the northern part of the so-called. United Snakes, as you say, but fam, nobody, I don't know if that's what the Aboriginals claim, because when you first start the video, you said something to do with Aboriginal, but now you just so far, so far fetched on indigenous, fam, but if you know anything, we came from the southern states and west, like California, and down all southern through Mexico, bro, if you know anything about the purchases and the annexation and things like that, bro, which I don't think you do. Yeah. It's the same type of goddamn environment that was over here in North America. And that shit was, and so you just, you can automatically see that anything south of that ice is still cold. What the fuck is y'all talking about? How, how can you automatically assume and automatically see that it's still cold down there, bro? You weren't there, bro. You ain't bring up one chart to say that it was cold in the Southern States. And if it was, oh well, bro, we melanated people. Mel melanation don't go away because it's cold, bro. Where, where, where you getting your knowledge from, bro? All them damn Southern States got a blast from the goddamn past. Some cyclone brought all that fucking snow across even Georgia, Texas, 
All these open statements, you know what I'm talking about? All the southern states got a blast from the past. The, it was, listen, brother, that ain't happened. I live in Texas. I live in North Texas, brother. Ain't no blast from the past happened here recently and not in the last couple years. Not this year, not this winter. If that's what you're referring to, fam, that's a straight lie. Uh, countries, which is Egypt and South America. Them, them goddamn Indians, you niggas keep pointing out, them motherfuckers came from up out of Asia, okay? They came from up out of Asia. To man, them Mongoloid Indians from India, bro, which is, yes, in Asia, fam. Don't nobody need them to verify us being here, bro. If they migrated over here, of course, somebody had to help them survive, bro. Do, do you hear what you're saying? They came within like 10,000 years ago, fam. So... They didn't know anything about this place, y'all. It was already somebody here, man. That's just open statements and dry ass lies again. The Africans that came over here were not walking, first and foremost. They always show you them motherfuckers walk across the bench. The Africans that came over here was on ship. You, you right here, you talking about three different type of people. You mentioned Africans, you mentioned the motherfuckers walking, bro, but you talking about the people that was already here, fam. Y'all did come on boats, bro. That's the only information you got right, bro. Yes, they brought Africans here to the Americas on boats, fam. But the people that was already here, we was here. We had been here. Ever since America was, we always was. Period. We don't need Africa for no uh self-proclamation, fam. Hey, they say the damn pyramids was built by the gods. It was built by the gods, African gods. And I can go down all of the uh cultural evidence to prove. Yeah, you you right, bro. That pyramids was built by the gods, bro. These gods of the Americas, fam. Y'all niggas ain't have no boats to come over here, man. Stop lying, bro. Egypt ain't had no boats. And then plus, Egypt is on the east side of Africa, fam. If anybody came over here, it was Western Africans. And them niggas ass ain't had no boats, man. Get it together, bro. You just, you just spout made up bullshit, bro, for views. You could be the first migrant in the land. That don't make you indigenous to the land. Just because you the first migrant in the land. Okay. Talking about migrants, bro. Ain't nobody migrated over here, fam. We was already here. And nigga, show your migrational charts that show Africans migrating to the Americas. That's what you need to do. Show your migrational charts. Okay? When you look at a person's physical makeup, it's going to tell you a lot of where they come from. Okay? And when you say physical makeup, what do you mean? Because if you look at my features, and I'm way darker than you, Sergeant Sudicetti, so maybe you talking about color, but I don't get what you're saying. But if you look at my physical makeup, ain't an African on the planet look like me. It ain't an African on the planet look like me, bro. So so what does that mean? It's ridiculous. So just as ridiculous as the white man saying he come from Africa, it's just as ridiculous as a man damn near dark as triple black midnight talking about he's indigenous to this continent when you know this goddamn continent is damn near like Russia. See, I see what it is. You are talking about color. You're not going off of people's facial structures, bone structures, actual DNA. You're just talking about color, bro. When you're the lightest of all the niggas in the conscious community, bro, and you're sitting there talking about some color. But, uh, and then you're steady making these open, open statements talking about America's like Russia now, bro. If anything, America has the same climates as Africa, bro. We like desert, tropical out here. When you're talking southern states and you're talking west coast, all the way down through Mexico, all the way down through South America, bro. So get it together, man. You just you just looking for views, bro. That's all I see this as. I can't think you serious, bro, because I'm not taking you serious at this point, fam. In that old Mac damn calendar, when you look at it, that's the same calendar in the ceiling of Dendera, or the, the temple that's sacred to Hedero. And you say it's the same calendar, then you point out it's the same type of pyramids and that it's pyramids on both places. Nigga, did you ever stop and think maybe we taught you niggas how to build pyramids? Maybe we gave you niggas a calendar? Maybe we civilized you niggas? Hey, so when you look at all of the similarities between the old Max, which is the oldest civilization, I'm so if the old Mex is the oldest civilization, then what is the argument about? You get what I'm saying? Maybe y'all got the culture from over here. We ain't culture vultures over here, man. We was doing our own thing way a long time ago. Been doing it. Talking, we not living in no goddamn tents. 
We've been in goddamn pyramids down 5,000, 6,000 BC. What the fuck will we be in that far back in goddamn civilization like that? Living in some goddamn tents. You make him fool your viewers with that bullshit, bro. But you can't fool me. I didn't study Kimmy, bro. And y'all niggas weren't living in no pyramids. Y'all don't got enough pyramids to host the whole African continent in. Just like we wasn't living in pyramids over here. Pyramids is for the gods, bro. Pyramids is places of worship and ceremony and sacrifice. You get what I'm saying? You took your ass in a pyramid, you'll get sacrificed, bro. What do you mean, no TPs? Where do Africans sleep? Y'all niggas sleep on the dirt, fam. We were sleeping in teepees because we were a migrant people. We migrated all around this motherfucker. We migrated everywhere. Warming up for all you niggas talking about y'all indigenous to a fucking ice box and got all that melanin in your, in your goddamn skin. Even them. See, I really don't get what the fuck living in an ice box got to do with anything with melanin, but that shit ain't even facts. America has never been no ice box. You didn't have no whole uh, continental uh, freeze going on. You get what I'm saying? This dude is just crazy, man. So called Indians came from Asia. You understand what I'm saying? They didn't uh fucking was indigenous to they la this land. They migrants. And we are migrants. Okay, but we the first migrant. And so the first man in the land can be uh assumed to be indigenous because nobody preceded him. Yeah, bro, them motherfucking Indian. Mongoloids migrated over here and you African savages migrated over here in chains on boats and y'all was the only participators in the slave trade. Fuck you mean. But when you deal with his genetic makeup, you can you in in that you going to find the evidence that he's not indigenous to the land. He's just the first migrant of the land. And that's the problem, bro. You just spouting facts that you don't even know about. You don't know shit about DNA, Seti. You know what I'm saying? So you don't know that DNA don't link nobody to no land mass, especially not no traveling people. We always been travelers, bro. Like you say, you took an oath to become a traveler, nigga. We ain't take no oath to be traveling. We've been traveling the whole world since the world ever was, fam. So shit. See, and then in order, because in order to pull this shit off and try to trick people that they indigenous, these niggas will say that the slave trade did not happen. That it did not happen. And I say to myself, see, and I'm not one of them dudes that say the slave trade didn't happen because I got knowledge of the slave trade. I know it happened, but it didn't happen in the way you think. It wasn't no mass transatlantic slave trade and it didn't happen for the people that was already here in a minute scale but not no major scale yes it was some slaves from over here but most of the slaves were from africa fam so yes the slave trade happened but that doesn't negate the fact that it was people already here on this continent on all the continents over here on this side of the world fam now i honor the old max i honor the old max i say that's our people that's our science i i honor the naga kusha okay those are our people you understand? And I know that that was our empire. But Africa is the crib. That's our home. That's our holy of holies. See, and that's why y'all Pan-Africans is mad. Because, now nah, we ain't honoring. Well, I'm going to speak for myself, bro, because I stand on my own, bro. I'm not under oath and obligation, fam. But I'm here for my, my tribe, my people. And we ain't honoring no Africa, bro. We're not honoring different civilizations around the world. This is where we from. This is the culture, bro. You want to, that's what's wrong with so-called blacks in America. Y'all want to claim every other culture but y'all selves. If you from Africa, you from Africa. What you doing honoring other cultures for? Why is it that these niggas have to discredit the African slave trade just to say that they indigenous over here? See, that's two damn lies. I got to deal with the vicious lies that I and that's like saying why is it that these pan Africans got to discredit the indigenous or the aboriginal community and the people who trying to raise our culture back up have our culture back on the uprising why is that y'all got to discredit us to make y'all feel more African leave us alone if you say you're not from America your ancestors is from Kemet then Rep that, but don't go after people that don't want to rep what you rep. You can't make everybody be from Africa, bro, no matter how much you want it to be. When you look even in the eyes, when you look at Haiti and you look at the dominant religion down there, you know it come from Africa. 
you know it. Even when you when you deal with the Jamaican, you understand what I'm saying? They say Ethiopia is the holy land. You see what I'm saying? And then when you go down to Brazil, you understand what I'm saying? It's too evident of where they come from because they still hold on to traditions that could be traced right back to Africa. Not no goddamn straight head Indian up in no goddamn North America. See, this more trickery. He, you see him jump and skip around to every little island around America. And he touched on little parts of South America, talking about they honor Africa, and that's part of their culture. But if you know anything about the slave trade, yes, bro, Africans were took more down there than anywhere. They was, all the islands are full of Africans, if you ask me, if you ask the history. So what are you saying? You ain't name, name an indigenous tribe here in America that's claiming African roots, besides the Gullah culture, and that's on the East Coast. Name somebody on the Western Coast or down South in the Southern Straits or in Mexico that are claiming African or Africa people as their people or where they get their culture from, and you not because you can't. You can't, you can't find it. Yeah, we didn't know what was going, but now we know. And them fake ass Moors was the Africans, them weak motherfuckers. They ain't Africans, they Muslims. Them niggas is Muslims. They the ones that traded on Africa. See, and here you go trying to link up the indigenous people, because that's who you said you had a problem with. But why are you trying to link us up with the Moors, fam? If you know anything about history, yeah, the, yeah, the Moors sold y'all out over there in Africa. But you don't think they sold us out over here because them were the only people that knew we were here. We weren't in y'all Bibles. We ain't on y'all hieroglyphs. It ain't no America uh, continent on y'all hieroglyphs, fam. So somebody had to sold us out to get them to come over here, folks. Use your mind, bro. You ain't you ain't crazy, so. You went up there, thing, you know, and you laid up there with that white man woman. And you laid up there with them, you know, with that. I don't think the Arab woman's up there, but the white man. And you didn't had them babies, and them babies end up turning on you, motherfucker. You laid up there for two, three hundred, four hundred years, five hundred years. You didn't come your ass back to Africa and renew your blood. You laid See, he made a nice little point right here about how the Moors didn't come and renew their blood. It's the same thing for us, bro. When the Continental Divide happened, whether you believe it or not, when the Continental Divide happened, bro, we were over here, y'all niggas was over there. And I don't think you know African, by the way, but I'm saying the Africans were over there, we were over here, bro, and we didn't renew our blood with no African. And then for the people submitting their DNA into these places, yeah, they gonna link you to Africa. Linking you up off your own continent, they gonna do that. That's trickery. They gonna do that, bro. We ain't never renewed no blood with African except during the time of slavery, and that wasn't on a mass scale basis. You got people like me can trace their ancestry all the way back, and I don't got one African in my family, no Europeans in my family, bro. Okay, so when they say, see, that's them niggas that always talking about they indigenous. See, they don't, they, see, they don't want to say what they did, you understand, to, you know, to affect the slave trade. They don't want to say what they did. Them is the Uncle Tom traitorous ass niggas that set Africa up. See, bro, I'm not stupid. I see who your beef with. Your beef is with the Moors or so-called the Americanized Moors, bro. But it ain't with the indigenous. While y'all niggas was over there getting rounded up like some damn sheep, like some foolish ass sheep, we was over here with our feet kicked up. You know what I'm saying? Having powwows and rain dances and shooting arrows and shit like that, bro. We wasn't, how the hell we sell y'all out? How the hell we, Uncle Tom's, we didn't even know about you niggas. We, y'all history was so far gone about our history. And I'm not saying we migrated. We never migrated. I'm saying during a continental drift, that's how our two people separated. And that's why our characteristics and our looks are totally different from Africans, man. Down there. How the hell you gonna be original to the land? You got pyramids all through the goddamn jungles and you don't know they there. Bitch, you didn't have nothing to do with them. That's why you didn't know where they was there. See, you real disrespectful, bro, but I know you're not talking about the indigenous. You getting misconstrued talking about the Mexicans and the so-called South Americans who didn't know that the pyramids were there, but the people who built them knew they were there. You know what I'm saying? When the Spaniards came through colonization, just like the English in North America, bro. So no, the people that are there now, they still gonna find pyramids. There's still pyramids over there right now that they don't know about. You get what I'm saying? They never been through them jungles. But the people who originated there, who are no longer there, yes, we knew about them, bro. But when they found them damn pyramids, you know what they said? 
they say Egypt in America. This was all over the newscast and everything. Egypt in America. That's what. And yeah, bro, they mistakenly said, yeah, Egypt in America, because you're dealing with the colonizer. You're talking about the colonizers' newspapers. You're talking about the people who been conquered Egypt. If Kemet was so great, why it took them? They been conquered it. Y'all call them Alexander the Great. I call them Alexander the Greek. That's who conquered Egypt a long time ago, y'all. So what is what is dude talking about? So that let me know that when they, see, when you first see some shit, your mind usually register, it do. The most obvious. And yeah, shit do register, bro. The most obvious shit that register is, you can't get it past your head that goddamn me, there were people already over here when the colonizers came. And I'm not talking about the Red Indian who took a payout to sell us out. I'm talking about so-called melanated people were already here, fam. And that shit is obvious. And it's obvious that you got a problem with the Moors, but you, you mistakenly trying to group every indigenous culture with the Moors. That's not in the teachings of the Moors Science Temple, bro. You need to do some more studies, fam. Here, y'all niggas are some traitors. I, I'm just going to be real to you. That's the way I feel. Because, like I said, I honor the old Max. I say that's one of our beloved civilizations. I honor the Naga Kushaks. I say that's one of our beloved civilization. But I always connect it to Mama Africa and say, these is our, you know, our children that went out into the world. And they took a lot of Mother Africa with them. And you can see it in them. And I prove it. Hand down. Ain't, ain't no debating about it. Nah, y'all niggas is some sellout. Y'all the ones promoting that history that y'all learned in school and going off these so-called master teachers and whatever y'all call these niggas instead of studying for yourself. Y'all niggas been selling each other out as far as Africa ever been around. Y'all been all through y'all history is one tribe selling another one out. This tribe selling another one out. We got sold out by the so-called Red Indian who was nothing but a mongoloid, bro. We didn't have nothing to do with selling out on y'all niggas. That's um, that's an in-house discussion. Why you want to push your culture on somebody else? Just like y'all pushing that word black. Keep that shit to yourself. That ain't got nothing to do with us. Why you want us to be you so bad? If you say you from Africa, you trace your roots, then that's fine. We say we from America, we trace our roots, bro. So that should be fine with you. I don't see what the problem is. For these niggas to, I mean, even if you want to say I'm the original migrant in the land, I can, uh, I'm all right with that. If you saying you the original migrant of the land, we, was, we got claim to the land, we the original migrant, was nobody here before us? I can I can accept that. Nigga, fuck uh mis original migrant fam. We the original people of this land. Period. We the indigenous. We the so-called aboriginal fam. Period. There was no migration. The only migration that came over here was only two migrations. And that was the migration of the so-called red Indian, who is only a Mongoloid Asian, and that was the migration of y'all. Africans coming over here in chains, bringing y'all colonizers with y'all. And that's it. Say y'all indigenous, huh? Y'all saying y'all indigenous to an icebox. Then that means you gonna have to cut off the dark-skinned African. You See, bro, the cutoff happened thousands and thousands and even a million years ago, fam. This is what you're not understanding. The cutoff been happening right now in America. Yes, we need to cut off the dark-skinned African because he's not us. Just because we both have melanin don't make him us. We are a whole different people and we are a tribe in ourselves. See, that's going to call racism amongst our own people. You're going to say, oh, D, I'm not him. See, just the point that you say racism, you know that you're dealing with two different kinds of people. There's only one race, and that's human race. But you obviously already know, bro, that you have indigenous people, and then you have Africans. Stop trying to group these two people together. You're doing the white man's work for them, fam. See, that's why they say we not Africans, because that science is going to make your ass stand up, and you're going to have to acknowledge the scientific fact that ain't no man's as black as the Africans near that equator. That's about 20, 30 some damn countries ever gonna originate in that in, in a land like this. You see? See, this just some pseudo bullshit. You don't know what can originate where unless that white man tell you that. We know that we came from here without the white man's permission. We're from here. 
You know what I'm saying? You get your whole basis of the slave trade from that white man. You don't have no history saying that. You say you do, but you can't show it because you're going to say it's oral. Yo, know, you get what I'm saying? So you just... And the question become, why do you even have to say it wasn't no slave trade? You know, what? what what's the cause of that? You can claim your, you know, being the first migrant, but why do you have to denounce the obvious genocide against our people? See, and once again, I got to stay... I'm not denouncing the slave trade. I believe it happened. I'm not denouncing the so-called genocide of African people. But why do you have to denounce that genocide happened right here in America, that there was a genocide of my people? You get what I'm saying? You you want your culture to be well-respected, your little slave trade that happened, but you can't respect another man's culture. And that's not a wise man. A wise man will respect another man. Any kind of warrior will respect another warrior. And that's why I ain't been coming at you sideways in this video, because I know you weren't talking to me as an individual. You were just talking in the air. You get what I'm saying? That's why your name on the title, because I'm not talking to the air, bro. I really don't trust no nigga like that. I don't. I don't, because it's no, it's no need for you to denounce our obvious genocide. I'm not See, in real spill, I really don't trust no nigga like you, because there's no need for you to denounce an obvious genocide. There was an obvious genocide here in America. It's obvious that so-called melanated people populated every land on the earth, so therefore, anywhere the white man has touched, there has been an obvious genocide. So... So you just crazy, bro. You you disrespectful. You can't respect our culture, bro. I'm really giving you too much respect by even respecting your culture. I should be with everybody else saying the slave trade didn't happen, but now nah, I'm giving you that honor. I'm respecting your culture, bro, but you're going to respect ours too, fam. Traders of the East Coast. Yeah, you Arab ass niggas selling Africans all over Africa. See, that's who you niggas. That's see we got to deal with them. We got to deal with them Islam, Islam, Islamized niggas. See, and I'm indigenous realist to realist, man. And I'm end it right now because you see bro reaching now. Now he reaching, talking about we the Islamic, Islamized people. We the uh, people of the slave coats who sold his people. Listen, brother, we not none of that, fam. We the people who were here when they brought y'all niggas on the boats. We was the niggas helping y'all escape y'all slavery. We was the people coming to free y'all at nighttime. We was the real... uh saviors of y'all Africans when y'all came to our shores. Don't ever forget that this is our shores, man. And we a tribe, y'all you know saying, we got our own thing going on. Y'all niggas hating on our culture, man. Y'all gonna have to move out the way because the culture is on the rise. For those who feel like they're from Africa, cool, to you be your own. For those that know that they're indigenous and that they want that indigenous culture, man, y'all subscribe. Because I'm bringing that work, man. And I'm going to bring this culture. I'm going to show and prove every time, man. And if anybody disrespect the nation, anybody disrespect the culture, man, I'm going to bring that fire, man. I'm a indigenous realist to realist and I'm gone, man. See, man, I'm indigenous to realist, man. And shit, I'm the motherfucking realist, man. I'm going to talk about shit them other dudes can't talk about. Because I'm not under oath from them, bro, obligation. Coonery. Coonery. Cornery, 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 I step in the room full of cones, I let the chopper go. Slamming coons left to right, I'm playing domino. These niggas will come for a chain, I will not come for a thing. To me, this shit ain't a game. I put my life on the line, I'm not like the rest of these vibes. Worshiping pagan idol gods, scamming my community. I come and shoot you too, I come and destroy all the foolery. Snatch that onk off your jewelry, this knowledge is new to me. Fuck all this coonery. This coonery, 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 coonery. I've been built for ages. I done slept in years in cages, I look at what it made me Genetically modified to a chimera My mind is digital, my square is pivotal I am the indigenous, realist the realest I run with killers and killers I'm in the streets trying to get it I'm on a mission, only the real ones will feel it Where the truth trying to build Yeah, fuck all that coterie Niggas come on my motherfucking On my motherfucking videos talking about a smoke detector Like, like you don't hear all these motherfucking jewels I'm dropping like Nigga, fuck that smoke detector Nigga, I can take smoke if it's in the smoke, I'm a detective, man. I mean, I'm in this shit for the realest, y'all. I'm in this shit for the tribe, y'all. I'm in business for real, man. Look at the history books, man. You'll find me, man. Look at the history books, man. 
ain't playing, man. I ain't got time to play shit, man. Shout out to my brother, Louis Beats Bilderberg, man. He gave me this beat, man. This is part one. I still got another part two, man, because I got something to say to this cool. I'm indigenous realist, the motherfucking realist, and I'm gone.